with Bar Cutter Chats. We are your hosts, Nigeria and Sydney. If you are scanning in for the first time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're a returning guest, we surely appreciate you. And don't forget to share with a friend. All right, folks, we have a new game we are introducing. A weekly random question that we're going to answer. So let me go ahead and I'm going to pull up the question. See, you guys, already too excited. Hold on, where they go? Where is it? Okay. Oh, this will go. Yeah, we'll start off with this one. Question of the week. Would you rather never smoke weed again or never get head again? What do you think? I would never smoke weed again for a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she giving up head real, real quick. No, like I want head. Like, so I'm giving up weed. That's what I mean. Is that what I said? I mean, she's, yes, you give oh, up no baby, weed let's real not quick. get a mistake and like, I, I'm not giving up no head. <laughs> oh, okay. What uh, you going to do, Cindy? Mm, I mean, shit, I just came off of a week long, uh, I mean, a month long smoke break and I ain't got no head in a while. So, <laughs> shit, know, this is really. for the rest of your life? Mm. That's a long time. I guess I guess never smoke weed because you can eat weed. That's a good one. I ain't thinking of that. That's you a could good probably one. eat it. So you know what? I'll have to go. Good with one, never Sydney. Smoke. Good one. I have to go and never smoke. Okay. Okay. That That's our question. weekly question, guys. So if you would like to ask us a question that we we can answer. Just DM us or email us at barcodedchats at gmail.com. So, let's get back to it. All right. Do you want to introduce this week's topic? All right, y'all. So, we are back with season three. So, this week's topic is we're going to fill you in, get you to know what we've been doing since season two. So, let me break the bad news you now. Bad news? I got COVID, y'all. Oh yeah, she's sick. I'm not sick, I'm not sick no more. Like my COVID is over, like I gotta go back to work tomorrow. But I got COVID, remember when Sydney had COVID? Oh, Get yeah. Up. For our season one rider dies. Yeah, y'all remember I had COVID a long time ago. That's crazy. Like I remember talking to y'all and telling y'all how Sydney had COVID and look at me having COVID. And I really was mistaken because I really thought you had COVID at one point, but I guess this is your first time catching it. Yeah, I did not have COVID before. Like, even I was around Sydney, like, when she found out she was positive, I never tested positive. That's but true. crazy thing is, y'all, I went to a party and it was for a really big occasion, so I had to go. Um but yes, I Did went you? there. I'm just playing. I know what party fine. is for, so I'm playing. <laughs> went to work. Got a little headache. You know, but it was raining a lot in Houston. So it was like, and it hadn't rained for a while. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just like, you know, the weather changing. And it had got a little cool back that week. So I was like, okay, you know, my head's just adjusted to the weather. And then, you know, I was around two other teachers that tested positive. So I was like, you know what? Some told me to go get tested, y'all. I got tested while I was at work. When I say they treated me like I was... <laughs> nah, they ain't treat me bad, y'all. But they did, like, tell me to stay where I was at. They Ooh. had to go get my belongings for me. Ooh. And I had to leave <laughs> immediately, like... Exit the campus! <laughs> right, exit the building. <laughs> like, no. So, but the crazy thing was, like... Four or five teachers tested positive that same day. And then also the party I was at, about five or six people tested positive. So I don't know where I got it from. I don't know if I got it from the party. I don't know if I got it from school. Pretty sure I got it from school, being around a whole bunch of kids. But my yes, vote is school. Girl got COVID. My vote is school. Uh, Y'all, 
Y'all, y'all, y'all. But she doing all right. We are both vaccinated. Yes, I'm fully vaccinated. Sydney fully vaccinated. Yeah, I we both actually got Sydney. vaccinated around the same time. I think she might even got vaccinated a little bit before, like a few weeks before I got vaccinated. Yeah, I got vaccinated like right when the vaccine was coming out. When the teachers, yeah. they were like really pushing teachers to go. I went ahead and went because I knew my stakes were high being around these kids. And we see what happened. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never... Well, one, I ain't really been around her in a minute, though. So I don't know if that was lucky or if that was God's divine intervention, but... Girl! I really hadn't seen her, so I haven't been in contact. I haven't had COVID since again. I haven't... Like, you know, so... Yeah. I haven't been around Sydney. was looking out for me? When the last time I seen you, Sydney? We was having fun. we was over at Wichita house. The wings, when the wings story happened, y'all. Sydney y'all. fault? No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, it's low. It's ten percent Nigeria fault. It's ten percent. It's ten percent her fault. I'm gonna let it's her 90% live. Ninety percent Sydney's fault. No, it's none of my fault. No, I'm just the kidding. The only thing was it's my definitely phone. definitely twenty percent Gilbert's fault. It is twenty percent Gilbert's fault. It's my phone. It was left in her hands, and then I put the phone down because I had to go to the restroom. When I come okay, back, I don't know what happened. We're gonna give y'all a little bit more backstory. Okay, so <laughs> we were at a homeboys of ours. <laughs> Not the homeboys. <laughs> hey Gilbert, shout out. Yeah, shout so, out to my boy. We was at Gilbert House chilling, you know, he big adulting, got his place, you know, big pimping over there. Did back so to the in the middle of downtown type shit. But you know okay. what? Who got a key? Me. Bachelor pad. Uh-uh. Girl, but I'm we chilling. We need we need food. It's late at night. We're hungry. She only likes Frank's pizza. No, that's not true. Frank's Pizza is only downtown, so it's just like while we're downtown, we might as well get Frank's Pizza. Okay, girl. So we do the Frank's, and then okay, Frank's was out of wings, or it was a ba- like they was out of wings, right? They were out of wings, so we Frank's ordered was an extra large wings. meat lover. Okay. Yeah, we always get the extra because it ain't the first time we order an extra large pizza. This is about the third or fourth time. We always order extra large from Frank's. So <laughs> we got a pizza. Nigeria mad they ain't got no wings. She, my mouth set on wings. Literally, my mouth was watering for wings. Like, ooh, what's today Sunday? Do y'all see what I have to deal with? I'm trying to think if I can get some wings today. I had wings yesterday. I love so wings. we have the wings going on and. I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, let me get on Uber Eats. Let's see what's around the way. See? I found this. Hold on, pause. Y'all see how Sydney's idea to get on Uber Eats and please me. Because I'm a wings, good but friend. It's my fault. She looking for wings. We kind of argued that because we was all like, why you need wings? Who need wings? Don't nobody else want no wings. But baby, guess if I ordered some wings, guess who was also going on some? Her and Gilbert, okay? I sure was going to eat some if they was in the vicinity. Mm. So. I'm like, let me find some wings. What was the name of that place? It was like Rebel Wings or something. It was right something, up the street, too. Something we never heard of. Re- yeah, we never heard of it. I'm like, I'm always down to try some new shit. I'm like, fuck it. She gets the same thing everywhere she go. Oh. <laughs> you do. But I be trying to try some new shit, so I'm like, let's get some Rebel Wings. We ordered the motherfucking, like, 24-pack. We, we had ordered. cheese fries. Yeah, we ordered I'm fries. I'm never going to forget. Bitch. My Halloween or cheese fries, I still never got to this day, y'all. Uh, we so we ordered that shit up and I went to no at one point I gave it to Nigeria I was like here you finish the order or make sure it look right because that's what you want in the middle of I will I'll give her this in the middle of her like looking at the order Frank's Pizza called my phone why is my phone being used for all of this <laughs> everybody knows I'm the most irresponsible of the group so <laughs> Frank's Pizza calls my phone, so she answered, and she's like, oh, shit, pizza downstairs, we got to go. Right. She drops my phone on the couch. She answers it, and we both leave phoneless and go downstairs Mind, to get wait, the pizza. Wait, wait, wait. You missed a part. Mind you, the Frank's Pizza man's like, y'all got five minutes 
before I leave. Oh, yeah. Because Franks was tripping. They, yeah, I don't know what he was tripping on, but yeah. So we was like, okay, fine. Like, we come and we come. And they always have a problem finding the apartment where to come in at. So we like, we come, we running down the stairs. Like, it's like, we got to run like three, three flights, three, four flights of stairs. We running down the stairs. We get the pizza. We walk back upstairs, put the pizza down. Start eating the pizza. And then I pizza. think we went, I think we went back to like watching the TV show. I forgot about the wings. The pizza everybody came. Everybody forgot about the wings. Everybody the forgot pizza, about the wings when the pizza came. Right. Because <laughs> the pizza was there to fulfill our hunger at that moment. But I still wanted wings, but we weren't even thinking about it because... The Frank's Pizza had came. So when so we came I back go, upstairs from my getting the pizza, oh. I guess the magic wing fairy had pressed submit on the Uber order. <laughs> you you jumping. So I, so yes, we eat. My phone fell in between the couch also because I was looking around. It was in, so I found my phone and I just, nothing was on there. So I just go back to doing phone shit on my phone. I did notice that, like, I, but I get notifications from Uber all the time. So I was, like, ignoring that shit, and I wasn't paying attention. Basically, lo and behold, all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm getting a phone call from a number I don't know. I don't answer numbers I don't know. Just a word. <laughs> if you try to call my phone, I'm not going to pick that shit up because and I don't And the crazy thing to- is, she showed me the phone, and she was like, Look at this number. And I was like, and, and, and her and Gilbert was really being some hoes. They talking about, you know, you always got niggas calling your phone <laughs> this late night. That's probably what's happening. So I was like, shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody calling my phone because I cut all my niggas off. Now she so, want to not answer the phone. So I didn't answer the phone. Long story short, y'all, that was the Uber calling me because the order went through for like $50 worth of fucking wings from this place on my card. And I'm like, and so I try to call him back. Uber driver never picked up my phone, called nothing. He sent a picture that he left that hoe downstairs. We running. The, we run downstairs. Food gone. Food, food's, yes. Food gone. gone. Gone, not there. I don't know if the Uber driver took a picture and then picked it right the fuck back up. Probably. Or if we left it down there too long and the homeless person just, because we all know downtown Houston. Come on. Right. So a homeless person ate good that night. I'm talking about my cheese fries, my wings, like. $50 worth of fucking wings. Then we go back upstairs. Everybody want to argue whose fault it is that we now do not have the wings that are paid for. How's my We fault? was arguing. We was really yelling. I was like, bro, <laughs> it's your fucking fault. Cause I'm like, how's my your fault? fault? It's only my fault because I wanted wings. I ain't but tell also, you to go look for some wings. It's really on Uber because, like, if nobody, like, she didn't finish the order, like, we don't know how submit. Like, you have to hit place your order. Right. So, uh, watch out, y'all. Uber out here sending fucking fandom orders. But I got my money back. They refunded me. I got my money back. I let them know. And, uh, yeah, to the Uber driver who didn't answer the fucking phone, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> no, really. Because he was eating my jalapeno cheese fries and my motherfucking wings that night. Getting his motherfucking stomach full on Sydney Dime. About that, so Dime, that was quite the story and it only made it worse because I never got my wings like we didn't even reorder it because everybody had a bad attitude because we didn't got these wings took and Gilbert and laying down the whole fucking time the whole time this is all taking place Gilbert is laying on the couch laughing at yes him. Gilbert thinks it's hilarious that all this happened like he was laughing when we like, was running downstairs to go get the food. Then when we came back upstairs empty-handed, he thought that was even funnier. And, you know, I'm even hotter because my big ass went downstairs to some food that wasn't there that I really wanted. Now I come back upstairs, think you laughing at me? Like, I'm hot. Hot, okay? Tried it. Yes. They tried it. Really did try it. But, yeah. So that's a little bit... <laughs> that was, like, the last time we really saw each other because... I don't right. know I why, but sense. I just been, I've been busy. I was doing some other shit, and then I'm working this gig now, and I'm, like, super busy for, like, the past, well, this past week, and then I'm busy all this week, so. And then she caught COVID, so I definitely wasn't coming around her ass, so, yeah. Girl, first of all, 
Y'all, and speaking of being COVID, I've been out of work for 10 days. Oh, yeah. Ask me how That's productive I've been vacation. in those 10 days. Not at all. Y'all, City saved me this morning. She saved me from jumping off the edge, y'all. Y'all. So, what, did I have a lot? No, I didn't have a lot. So, I haven't had a lot since I seen y'all. Unless y'all see me on Street Chat Mondays. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had locks in my head for going on... This is the third month. So I was like, you know, let me take it down. I've been off work for 10 days. 10 days. Do you think I tried to take it down? No. That's besides the point. So, try to take it down today. Give y'all a little fresh look, okay? For season three. And, um... I can get them out by myself. <laughs> I called Sydney. I said, bro, I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. I was like, happy cry or bad cry? <laughs> Bitch, bad cry. I'm sad as fuck. So I FaceTime her like, Sydney, I can't get it out. She's like, all right, don't panic. Bitch, me panicking. Been panicking, okay? I'm over here. I'm like looking. I'm like, wait. I'm like, did you try this? Did you try this? Have you tried this? No, really, <laughs> bitch. I got scissors, a rat tail comb, bitch. I got everything. Damn near a machete in this hoe. Trying to get these it's hoes up. It's not working. I kept suggesting she just get a big chop. I said, maybe it's time to cut all your hair off. <laughs> no, she didn't. Girl. Luckily, Sydney so, found a lifesaver, and your girl is here. Shout out to Style Seat. Shout out to Style Seat. And shout out to... What was their name? Who's the people? Jay's Beauty Bar. Shout out to Jay's Beauty Bar. They took her. I called and I was like, my friend is in a desperate situation. Desperate. She needs some help. Okay. And they was like, send her on over. Come on through. So shout out to y'all. Shout cause... out to them. <laughs> oh, I wish I said. Yeah, you know, we had shit to do today. Room, so I'll try to post it. But yes, shout out to Jay's Beauty Bar. Go for them for your natural hair needs. Okay. But what else? Like, let's just, you know, let's just give our thoughts on a few other hot takes since we've been gone. We haven't been able... Yeah, because I know we kind of stopped Street Chat Mondays on y'all just a little bit. Just so we've been trying to reorganize. Sometimes, this is a word to the wise. May, I'm not that wise yet, but Dude. sometimes it's really better to wait and sit back and organize something mm -hmm. instead of to continue to push forward. Right. And it's not that good. Right. So that's why we kind of been on a little bit of a long break, longer than maybe some other podcasts have took a break for or whatever. You know, there's no wrong or right way. So, you know, but we're back now. Even though COVID did throw a wrench in our plans, we had different plans for recording, but for sure. worry about that next month. We'll be in the the new space. But um if you, you know, if you're ready to do something, just make sure you can execute it well. Because trust me, you'll be mad because you'll be like, oh, I could have did this or I could have did that. Right. Sometimes it's good to just get shit out there, but sometimes it's good to wait. Right. So take that advice as you will. But, but we have definitely been using this break as a building block. We've been having some meetings, some yeah, creative what's working. Um, design changes, um, a lot of merch talk. We got some, new, talk, we got talk, some new team talk. members, you know, outsourcing. Sometimes don't overwork yourself. So we've outsourced Definitely. a little bit. So, yeah, it's all and We good. have a lot, a lot of special guests coming this season. You know, so we trying to keep it spicy for y'all. Okay. But let's talk about how R. Kelly went to jail. Let's talk about how his his um, song ratings went up. Ever since he's been in, like, ever since they got convicted him last week or whatever, they said his song ratings have went up. Like, more songs he needed, have sold. He needed because he negative $2 million in debt. I got more money than him. Oh. So Ooh. he needed, but, but he don't need it. Black people, I'm looking at black people. Y'all is some motherfucker. I'm going to stick beside him. Head asses. Yeah, there were literally people outside of the jail, like, chanting for him, had his music playing, like, saying that this was all a lie. I'm like, y'all giving a weird. A lie? Y'all giving weird. 
There are victims. There are witnesses. What are you talking about? If you don't know, go on Netflix and watch it surviving R. Kelly. <laughs> I just see that's the shit that baffled me. I don't understand how people can get the same how everybody can get the same information and there's still two sides. What right. wh- how can you I mean, I know I'm a stand for Beyonce. But if she got caught up in some motherfucking allegations, you would still stick beside her. You know you would. It depends. I don't know. But you know what, y'all? I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. See, I stuck beside Chris Brown, and I'm still sticking beside Chris Brown. Period, so because you- he's also facing a case right now. Because that girl is trying to sue him or whatever for slapping her weed, weed off her head. You snatched the weed off her head? And baby, you deserve it. I shouldn't be laughing. I shouldn't be laughing because maybe her wig was glued down. That might have hurt. First of all, get back. You too close. You too close. That's what I'm saying. Why are you on Chris? Why are you? Why? Why? Why are you on my man? (laughs) (laughs) Right. That's why he pop your ass. No, we're just kidding. We never promote domestic violence, any type of violence on women. (laughs) We just support domestic violence. Yeah, but I'm we kidding, do I'm kidding. love us on Chris Brown. We ain't gonna I do lie. love Chris Brown. I can't. I didn't see nothing wrong with Lizzo wanting a picture. I would have been the same way. What? Can Me I, too. Girl, please, please. Speaking of, that's the same way. So Nikki, Nikki Minaj, Nikki Minaj. You know she's been in the headlines for her cousin's balls and vaccine talk and whatnot. I don't. Some people subscribe to the fact that it was all to distract that her nigga got convicted. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. However, I don't know. I have a I have a barb for a cousin. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of the barb side to the, to it. I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like the girl that went on the reel. She was a kind of giving me rehearsed. Mm. She was kind of giving me staged. She was kind of giving, I'm looking for my fame. I don't know. She says she's not. But her it, to me, she was trying to act too meek and broke down mm. to where it's looking unbelievable. But that's me. You know, I have TV, film, theater background. So I see past, I see acting for acting, baby. Right. So, I don't know. But, you know, once again, though, if this is the same story, it's been said multiple times that her parents were the one that just didn't like the age discrepancy, so they put a case on that nigga. I know somebody that that's happened to in real life, so I wouldn't be surprised. So, if that's the case, I feel like that's already been talked about. But, you know, I did not watch the full interview on The Real, but I watched clips, you know, and she went on there and described what happened to her and things like that. But, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's as sad as it is. At the end of the day, it's always he said, she said. Right. Nikki apparently played a part by... To me, I think Nikki was trying to handle the situation... But the to me, but the girl is trying to describe it as Nikki was trying to pay her off. Yeah, but I feel like I think Nikki, Nikki was, was trying, trying to, to damage just, control. Yeah, but I feel like Nikki was trying to handle the situation not in front of the cameras. But oh, bitch, now you want to involve cameras? Okay, right. People people like to handle things certain ways. So that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's it's. Yeah, you can't tell if she was trying to do damage control by paying the girl off or if she's really trying to pay the girl off to shut her up. You don't know. So, and we'll never know. They're not going to really tell us what really happened. So, I mean, there's court documents. So if you want to read, you can go read that. Because, I mean, it is going to be, if it's in court, it's going to be public unless they pay buku money to hide that shit. Well, so I wouldn't be surprised. You'll never know. But that's a little bit of the drama and a little bit of our opinions on that for catching up. Also, y'all, another member of fr- the Friday movie is dead. What? My neck, my back, my neck and my oh, back. Oh, yes. He oh, my died. God, yes. He 
died, y'all. So we lost another member, another black member of the community, and another Friday cast. So, bitch, that reboot is <laughs> dead. No, I thought it was in the making. Maybe they can. Oh, I don't know. Do a little something. Uh, I'm excited for this ATL remake, which apparently, uh, word on the street is though they actually tried to remake that years ago. They said the clip that surfaced was filmed years ago and the uh that's why one of the sisters wasn't in it because she was doing another job like that was not filmed recently they've been trying to shop the movie around this long to get somebody to pick it up mm, okay they tried to film and and that, i feel like people don't realize that sometimes like it take a long time to get movies made y'all it take a long time that shit is not overnight fun fact but yeah so if you didn't know but hopefully somebody finally bit. Hopefully we get some ATL. I love that movie. I can quote the whole thing. Literally, she always used to watch that movie when we were in high school. I love that movie. <laughs> Gerard, your brother in jail, get up. And no, not Gerard. And your brother they locked up. Get up. Come on. Girl. Here come the ghetto ghetto and the two twins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. What else? What else is on the thing? Oh, these Houston shootings. Or what else you got? Um, Houston is ghetto, y'all. Hell yeah, Houston ghetto. Like, Houston's ghetto. My homegirl lived in these apartments off of Westheimer and Voss. And she stayed sending me pictures of, like, this man in a minivan, like, pulling up, taking tires off people's cars in the parking garage, like, doing weird shit. Like, Yikes. Why are you doing this, sir? Or like this man that stole the the ambulance with a patient in the bag. What? I did not hear about this. Yes, like what is wrong with people? That he hijacked the ambulance and there was a patient in the back. So therefore they were they were either on the way to somebody's house or they were on the way to the hospital. What was the point of hijacking the girl? What's wrong with people? What's y'all got going on out there? Let us know. But like, right. what's going on? They're stealing their shit. People just doing reckless shit these days. Like, what's happening here? You saw the video of that man running behind that girl and she luckily closed Hell her door? Yeah, girl. That's crazy, the fact it's that people crazy. do that. Like, this man was running after her. Luckily, she literally got in her house and locked the door. Oops, excuse me. In the nick of time. like Nick of time. And not only that, that other man that showed up outside that girl ring and was like, I seen you. I seen yes. you the other day. You real sexy. Like, sir, that's weird. Or the new thing, y'all, I'm on TikTok. I know, I know, I know what I said, but I'm on TikTok. The new thing, have you seen? I think I sent it to you. This girl, hi, she was moving. So what do you do? You hire movers when you move. Oh, yeah. They I moved her shit. This man kept her number and sent her a slew of text messages, which she did not respond to, which nobody will respond to that, which he followed up with basically saying, I know where you live and I'll come back over if I have to. Hell yeah. Like, I'm going to talk to you face to face with the police. Uh, okay. Someone be waiting on your ass too, bitch, if you come over here. Right. That's... That's so totally scary. crazy. What is wrong with men? It's not that hard to get vagina. It's not. You can pay for it. Why are you stalking it's people? Why? Why are we stalking? Like, what? And then y'all wonder why women talk about y'all. Like, yeah, because y'all fucking crazy. And that's why crazy. women are scared to date because they get killed for turning men down or saying no. Like, that's scary. That's crazy. creepy. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Now, literally, a girl just died because this man rejected her. No, not died. I was on TikTok once again. This, uh, she, like, she was filming, like, she was just filming herself already. She out with her friends at dinner. This man is all in her face, like, trying to hug her, trying to kiss her on the cheek. She's like, please leave me alone. Like, go away. Like, you know, da 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 He set her car on fire. Set it on fire. 
she came out and he set her car on fire. Yo. Because she rejected him. He Why set her are car people on fire. Like this? What is wrong with y'all? Why are people like What's this? What's going on, fellas? Please tap in and tell me, fellas, what's what's is this just like five percent, ten percent of y'all? Is this one percent of y'all? Like I'm it's not clicky. Cause it's looking like eighty five percent of y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Right. Right. Cause I'm I'm gonna let fifteen percent of y'all live. But the other eighty five, y'all looking real buku, okay? Like what? Big no. buku. No, I can't. I think that's my rant. I think that I'm over with my rant, but that's all. What anything else? We can wrap it up. What you got? Yes. All right, guys. So we are excited to announce that we are going to be doing a giveaway. We'll be doing a few giveaways, but one for sure that we are going to do. We are going to be giving away a fifty dollars Amazon gift card. You got to make sure it's a catch. You know, it's always a catch. You got to make sure you're following. My personal Instagram page, Sydney's personal Instagram page, our Barcoded Chats Instagram page, subscribed to our YouTube channel. And when you're done, you're gonna put done on the end of the giveaway post. You're gonna comment and then we on will the giveaway post. Randomly select. We will make sure it's random. I know there's plenty of ways to do that. So and we can't wait to see who's going to get this card. Right. Do we might want, do two. Sure we might do two gift cards. We might do one. Maybe we should. Maybe might we should. do three. You never if know. If this goes well, we might do more giveaways. So participate if you want more free yes. shit. And we will be doing different giveaways. It won't always be an Amazon gift card. We do want to tap in with more Black-owned um, businesses and do Black-owned giveaways. So we'll definitely be doing that. We do Thank also you. have our merch that's coming. So we have been talking about that. We're going to get different merch for you guys. Hopefully some shirts, some lighters, some bracelets. You know, you never know. Yeah. So definitely stay tuned for our merch. And when that gets in the works, we'll definitely be doing a few merch giveaways. Okay, okay. So we're very excited. Told y'all we've been working. We've been planning shit. So told y'all um, was going to about like these. It's got to, you know, it's all in production behind the scenes. But we really, really thank y'all for sticking around to the end of the episode. We yeah. hope you're still here. Please remember to share, subscribe, and like. And of course, come back next Friday because we're back every Friday. Don't quote us on the time, but we're back every Friday. Listen and enjoy. Yes. So, until next time, you better holla. holla.